please. Matter of fact, subscribe. I'm waiting. You got time. You got time. It take. It don't even take one second. It don't even take a half a second. Just click. Go ahead and click that button. Hey girl, hey! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Ivory B, and I'm back at it again with another mother freaking video. Yes, 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 yes. yes. <laughs> Let me stop playing. Okay. This look right here, as you guys can tell by the title, I will be doing a flawless full coverage beat using some new products today we will be testing out the new Too Faced Jackie Ina collaboration their shade extension in the Born This Way foundation and also the shade extension in the Born This Way full coverage concealer I'm going to give you guys all the tea on this you're going to see me apply it all over my face I'm going to give you this look I'm giving you everything from the eyes to the foundation to the lips. You're going to go through this whole journey with me. So, if you would like to see how I achieve this look, please stay tuned and let's get right into the video. Okay, so jumping right into this tutorial, I am really, really excited to use... Girl, I'm too excited. I'm too excited. I got the... Too Faced Born This Way Foundation and the Too Faced Born This Way Super Coverage Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. Just to kick this off, I'm going to prime. I've already washed and prepped my face. I'm going to be priming my face with the Baby Skin, Maybelline Baby Skin Primer. I'm just going to massage that right into my pores. So I'm just going to go ahead and Carve out these brows, honey. <laughs> Make them sharp. And then with my BH Cosmetics HD Brow Pencil in the shade Ebony. As well as my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Ebony. Just combing those hairs upward. Now with my pencil, I'm just going to outline the top and the bottom of the brow. Go in with my dip brow pomade and fill it in. And I like my brows to be really dark. Who else is excited for it to be October and for Halloween to be coming up? I got some looks in mind to do for you guys. I'm going to be carving out my brows with my pride and joy right here. I'm going to be going in with toffee to outline the um, bottom and then I'm going in with chestnut to outline the top of my brow. And y'all please excuse my voice. By the end of the week, my voice is always shot. My day-to-day um, -day job, um, I yell at people all day long because I'm a coach. So, my voice is always gone and shot and dead and in the ground, honey, by the end of the week, okay? Please, please, please take your time with these steps because if you try to rush this, your brows is one thing that you cannot rush. You will be sorry if you sit there and rush your brows. Slow. You up here and you need to bring it down here, okay? Slow it down. Slow it down. And then I'm going to go in with, y'all already know, my BH Cosmetics V5 blending brush. And I'm just going to go in and blend it out. Blend, blend, blend. Like it was your job, okay? Your day job. Not your night job, your day job. So now that I've done one eye, I'm going to go and do the other eye off camera. So that is as close of a match as they're going to get. So now I'm going to prime my eyelids using another LA Girl Pro Conceal and Creamy Beige. I'm not going to be doing too much with the eyes today because I want this video to be focused on my foundation routine. So I am going to just do some really quick shadow and then we're going to move on to the face. Kind of 
kind of a trick that I like to do when I'm in a rush or in a hurry or doing everyday eyeshadow. I just take one shadow and then I make it deeper in the crease and then I blend it lighter up towards the brow bone and it looks like you've used three or four different shadows, honey, and spent 60 minutes. doing your eyeshadow and you spent five minutes doing your eyeshadow. That is all I'm gonna do for the eyes today. Don't shoot me. But I am gonna add a little bit of eyeliner. I literally have to go behind my lashes to get, I have to put the brush behind my lashes in order to be able to do eyeliner. Who has time for that? Nobody. Nobody. Okay. See, look, let me talk. Let me, let me get close. Let me talk to y'all. Let me talk to y'all. My lashes. They do this, okay? Most of the lashes, they stick out and you can sit the lash right on top. Mine's I like that, okay? It ain't no lashes going on here on camera. We here. We still here. We cool. We cool. I still... So going back in with some more of my baby skin, these pores got to go. So now let's get into this tea with this foundation. So I'm going to go in with tiramisu and this is sort of kind of a first impression guys. I did get a sample from um, Sephora, but I did not put it all over my face. I just got a small sample just to color match myself. But as far as doing a face, I have not. So we're going to be testing this on camera together because we cool like that. Oh, she thick. Okay, I pumped. I got two pumps on my hand. She is thick, honey. I always go in with... A flat foundation brush is the old school foundation brush that nobody used. I love these because I just put these, I use these to paint on the foundation first and then I go in with a beauty blender or a brush to blend it out because I just feel like that gives me a better coverage. It makes everything more full coverage and just beat, okay, because y'all know I love the beat. So we're just going to see how far two pumps get us and we're going to see what this shade match is looking like because from what i've been hearing this is supposed to give you skins and i feel like two pumps only cover the little bit more than half of my face so i am going to go in with one more pump because i am a full coverage girl i love foundation i live for foundation so i am a definite three to four pump foundation Girl, I am not a one pump, two pump, cover your whole face type of girl. That's just not me. Okay. Oh, oh, Auntie Jackie. Auntie Jackie. I would much rather my foundation be too dark than to be too light because I can work with it being too dark for my skin, but. If you use a foundation that's too light for you, you're going to be looking like you're ready to get over in the casket, okay? And we're not trying to do that. Don't forget to blend out that foundation underneath that chin, girl. You can't be out here with a big face and you didn't forget to blend down your neck. Because we don't want that either, okay? Please get around that hairline. You're not trying to look like you, you're ready to go trick or treat. I know it's October. I know this is supposed to be a medium to full coverage and it is definitely buildable because you guys saw I put on three pumps and three pumps gave me beat to the goal. Let's get into this concealer tea. It's supposed to be giving us full coverage beat, full coverage tea. You feel me? Covered and you still good or you want to go for a jog in a park? Full coverage beat. I'm going to use the shade Chestnut and I'm going to focus this in all of the areas where I'm naturally highlighted. And this is first, first impression. I have not, other than in Sephora swatches on my hand, no. There she is on the back of my hand. It's giving me nice coverage. It's, it's looking like, it's looking promising. Mm -hmm. 
let's go in okay so far this is jackie you did not have to do us like this you did not have to give us this much fire like we weren't ready i know we've been asking for it but we was not ready for this much fire i don't think i've ever had a foundation match me this well like and blend into my skin this well like this concealer is flawless this if you think it take you an hour to do your makeup account for another 30 minutes of blending because it's going to take you an hour and 30 or at least it should all blending. I have to go in and cream contour using my sleek makeup cream contour kit. Using my sleek makeup cream contour kit. Take three. Take three. Using my sleek makeup contour kit, cream contour kit, and extra dark. That color is 05. Because I already got high cheekbones, but I like a chisel. You can never be too snatched. Motto for 2019. Because we almost done with the rest of this year. So I can't say for 2018 because we almost done. My motto all 2019 is you can never be too snatched. Okay. The way that I take my contour around my forehead, I don't just do the like the straight across. I actually like to shape out where my highlight is, my forehead. So I actually like to bring it in like right above my eyebrow and then blend it up and around and repeat the same process on the other side because I feel like that just gives me a more natural look. In that same beauty blender, I'm gonna go and blend all of this out. You wanna blend your contour up you don't want to blend your contour down. You want to blend it up into your highlight. Don't take it underneath your eyes, obviously, but blend it up so that your contour and your highlight can mix. It looks way better. I used to blend my contour down because I feel like that's what somebody told me I was supposed to do. And obviously the rule of the day is never listen to nobody but yourself. And I'm going to be using my RCMA No Color Powder. My Lower Mercy A Translucent Medium Deep Setting Powder. And then I also like to cut my contour. I like to reverse contour with this. And we're gonna cut. Yes, this is an essential step. If you miss this step, why are you even doing your makeup? Y'all weren't gonna tell me that my lips was dry though. And we back. And then I go ahead and wipe that right off because I don't like to bake for too long because we don't, I'm dry and I don't want to look dry. I want to look healthy. So I'm going to go ahead and brush that off. Blend all day. We blend everything out. Y'all know I'm not going out the house looking no types of crazy. Don't even try me like that. I Powder contour, I'm using the um, Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette in medium to dark. I'm going to be going in with this dark color. I'm going to go in with my MAC Fix Plus Prep and Prime. You guys already know.
I'm gonna go in with that same beauty blender and we're going to press everything into the skin. This is an essential step for me. I feel like this is a must because this literally melts everything into the skin. As in, I'm just going to finish up my lower lash line and put on my lashes for y'all and I'll be okay, right so back. Now that my lashes are on, I'm going to go ahead and do my bottom lashes using the Maybelline Matte Lash Discovery Mascara. Okay. the rest of this face I got bronzer blush and highlight to still do covergirl queen collection ebony bronze bronzer and black radiance palette I'm gonna take the same color that I used to contour my cheeks and I'm gonna take this fluffy blending brush and just use that to snatch my nose some more now for blush i'm going to be taking my juvia's place the saharan blush volume one palette and i'm going to be taking this orange that's called toby and this is called neo and i'm going to be mixing those two colors together For highlight, I'm going to be mixing two highlights. I'm going to use this highlighter that I got from this Instagram brand. Their name is Shop Local or Shop Local. Um, and I'm using their Clio highlighter. And then I'm also going to be taking my Jouer, Jouer, however y'all want to pronounce it. I'm going to be taking Skinny Dip. And I'm going to go in with Clio first and then I'm going to go Skinny Dip on top. Let you get into this tea. Get into that glow. My highlight just slightly more underneath my eye. Just getting the very beginning of like my cheekbones because I really like that shine from the front as well as from the side. Now going back in with that beauty blender and spraying it with my Fix Plus, I'm going to blend over that highlight. Any dip? And put that right underneath my brow bone. I think I'm gonna do a red lip. I'm actually gonna be doing like a burgundy lip because we in fall, right? I gotta give y'all fall teas. So I'm gonna be going in with LAX from ColourPop and also Ellery Lip Liner from ColourPop. giving y'all fall vibes okay full beats fall vibes right here y'all this is i really hope you guys enjoyed this beat i really enjoy spending time with you guys today and i will catch you guys in my next video but first before you leave do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Please, matter of fact, subscribe. I'm waiting. You got time. You got time. It take. It don't even take one second. It don't even take a half a second. Just click. Go ahead and click that button. Because I would yeah. love to have you back and be a part of the fam. Because we about to be best friends, okay? Oh. Thank you guys for tuning in with me for this video, and I will see you guys in my next one